What's up, guys? Mac Daddy Dipper here. I'm Big Mac, and I'm your host for today's video. Um, well, this video right here gonna be dedicated to my to three very close friends of mine that I've had the pleasure of making over the few, over the years that I've been alive and kicking and almost not kicking. Uh. We're, I'll uh, talk about them here in a second because I, I just got done or, or reorganizing my book bag from school and I still got a shitload of shit all over my bed. It's annoying as piss. But, uh, oh yeah, to all those people that watch my videos at school, I do not sell dip at school. I barely, I've, I don't even bring it to school anymore. I don't do that no more. It's just not my thing. I'd rather just dip at home. So that way, you know, I get less pressure on me, you know, school-wise, you know, people searching me and stuff like that. I don't, I don't do that. I don't sell dip at school no more. I don't dip at school no more. It's, I mean, hell, it's about, about stop dipping, period. Like, I went from three cans a day during the summer and if my voice sounds a little fucked up right now, it's because I'm a little bit sick. I don't know why. There's something in my throat's been itching like a motherfucker. <clears throat> and, uh, see how it's kind of like fading in and out. But, um, like, well, I, I got a comment from somebody on, uh, one of my videos who I don't know if it's actually a teach actually someone from the school or not or if it was just some kind of sick prank but either way still put a little it raised an eyebrow on me because uh, a lot because it was the same person that got me in trouble last year when I did a video where I stuck a knife down my throat of course, I don't do none of that no more because I look back on it now and it was stupid as shit. But let's pack a fucking up and uh, I'll explain more. Oh yeah, Captain Angus Drake. Satisfaction since 1823. And also hard to pinch since 1823. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not that hard, it was just, it just kept kind of falling apart a little bit, but, so it's kind of like that, like that. Alright, so like I said, I don't know if the comment was by an actual administrator or not, but the comment said that better be your last first dip or I'll see you at the high school. Uh, and this is my defense to that. I'm not meaning to be offensive or anything, I'm just trying to spread my defense. One. I don't reference the school. Two, I'm in my own home. Anything you, anything I do in my own home that's not, quote, illegal, illegal, like if I'm not doing drugs or drinking or anything like that, you really have no say. And three, it's really no one's business but my own what I do. Uh, I mean, sure, I understand a bunch of uh, some people do not like the fact I make dip videos. Some people think it's you know foolish or immature, um, and in some cases it can be. But you know, the thing is. 
when the time comes to where I'm in a life or death situation to delete these videos, I can delete them and they'll be it'll be like it never happened. I mean, simple as that. You just delete them and they never happened. Cause I could be here today and gone tomorrow off of YouTube if the, if the situation boiled to that point. And, uh, people always ask me where I get it. I'm not saying. I do not, I'm not saying where I get my tobacco. In risk of, like I said, uh, someone, you know, getting in trouble for supplying tobacco to someone who's underage. Which I did look it up in in the state of Georgia. It is 16 to consume tobacco, but illegal for you to to buy it. Which means if I had tobacco seeds and planted my own tobacco and cured it myself and chewed it, all 100% legal. It's just illegal for me to go up to any gas station and be like, "Hey, can I get a can of?" dip for a pack of cigarettes same deal so really I'm not doing anything illegal and uh, if you don't like my videos well you don't have to watch them honestly now on to what my main uh, what the main subject of my video is before I notice that comment which was really aggravating, I should say. Because that's just kind of being like invasion of privacy. Um, I want to talk to you about three close friends, I've, or four close friends, that I have uh, had the pleasure of having as my friends for the past gosh since I was four years old at the at the at the oldest well two of them I've known since I was like four years old and the others I kind of met I met uh, one in seventh grade or no one sixth grade and then one in ninth grade and I'm in eleventh grade now uh, their names are Blake Blake Gaddis, Bailey Gaddis, Jay Rickinson, and Dylan Berta. Those guys are the best, or some of the best friends you could have. Uh, I remember me, Blake, and Bailey were, were on the same T-ball team when I was about four or five, or give or take. You know, we didn't go to school together at that time because. Uh, they went to, I think, like, Level Grove or something like that, or Hazel Grove or somewhere. Oh, no, they went to me. I didn't go there till fourth grade. And, uh, but we knew each other through T-Ball. Because where I went to school, I went to school 45 minutes away from my house. I had a 45-minute drive every day to school. I was late 87 times in my, my kindergarten year. I was late over half the year. And I was showing up at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. But the only reason they didn't talk, probably the only reason they didn't fail me was because of uh, the fact that I lived 45 minutes away. That and I was smart as hell back then. I don't know what happened to me. Like, I, I, was a, I was a really good kid. I mean, I still am a really good kid. Like, I don't do anything wrong, really. Like, I'll tell you. Other than dipping, I've smoked maybe eight cigarettes my entire life. I've drank maybe four or five beers and a couple shots of whiskey in my entire life. I mean, 
I've never done any illegal drugs such as marijuana, cocaine, crack, or anything like that. Never done that. You can drug test me all you want. I'll, you'll just get the same results. Uh, I've never hit hit a girl. I, I mean, I'm morally strong. Like, I'm really strong morally. Like, I have good intentions, just sometimes they don't show as much. And, uh, like I said, uh, I got off subject, but, like I said, those guys uh, that I was talking about, the best friends you could have, they're always there when you need them, especially my friend Bailey. Uh, because I remember in ninth grade, I was depressed. I mean, I was down in the dumps probably that entire year. Because I lost a lot of friends over something that happened in 8th grade. And it carried over and... There's where it led to a string of, you know, fighting and just lashing out at people. And, uh... Just being all out disrespectful and bitter towards everybody and uh, I didn't like I didn't like it and uh, and Bailey actually I did lose him as a friend for a while because of what happened I'm not gonna specify what happened and uh, eventually you know we kind of forgot about it and forgave he forgave me for what for uh, what happened and, uh, you know, I'm really thankful that because he's been a really good friend for, to me, along with his brother Blake. They're twins, and they've, been, they've both been really good friends of mine. I uh, wouldn't trade them for nothing. I mean, I've known them forever. And, uh, you know, they're just all out good people. You know, you can't, you can't replace a good friend like that and uh, my friend uh, Dylan Berta we were sort of friends in 6th, 7th and 8th and we uh, got to where I, ha where, where I pretty much hated him in ninth grade because of he kept mentioning things of what happened in uh in eighth grade, in ninth grade, and I ended up chucking a science book at him and knocking him out of the chair. But uh, you know, like I said, I, I lashed out a lot of people and uh, stuff like that. But you know, eventually I forgave him. You know, and now now he's actually a really close friend of mine, and I wouldn't trade him. Like I said, I wouldn't trade him for nothing. And, uh... I mean, uh, I fucking love all my friends. Especially those four. Because, you know, they've always been there for me since day one. And, uh, I really appreciate it. My buddy Jay Rickardson. We met in ninth grade. Uh, I think he pretty much hated me or was really annoyed by me in ninth grade. But uh, as the years progressed, you know, I guess I kind of grew on it. And now we're end up being pretty good friends. I mean, we've hung out and went fishing together. And, uh, funny little experience. He, uh, we saw we were at Lake Russell, which is a little lake we have up here in northeast Georgia. It was him and uh, De and my buddy Norton, and uh, we uh, found a rock and we wanted to see if we could move it. So he basically stripped down to his underwear, had no shoes on. He's like, and he had to borrow my boots, and uh, he uh, <laughs> got down there in his fucking underwear. It was like lifting that rock, and, he, and we dared him to swim across the lake and shit. It was funny as hell. 
but it's it's memories like those that make that's the positive side of life because you know you you can't trade up your friends. You can pick your friends, but you, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends' nose <laughs> unless they're like really drunk. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, I really love those guys. They're like, they're really good friends. And, uh, I wouldn't trade them for the world. You know, they mean the world to me, and without them, I have no idea where I'd be. And, uh, if they, if y'all watch this, I really appreciate y'all being such good friends of mine and I can't thank you enough for uh, being there when I need y'all the most so uh yeah I hope y'all enjoy this video I'm gonna wrap this video up I'm at 16 minutes now once again this is Magda Dipper I'm here y'all peace